Hello, people of social media. Yeah, I say, say that often. But hello to you. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about dry fly fishing. Or um, yeah, a little bit about leaders actually. Nothing more than that. Because I had a lot of people asking me the latest weeks uh, how I tie or use my dry fly leaders for um, dry, dry fly fishing. And I've been dry fly fishing in a lot of countries, um, New Zealand, Slovenia, yeah, Sweden, Norway, uh, Finland, yeah, a lot of places. And it could be a little different, depends where you're fishing and of course most um, how the water are. If it's clear water, yin clear water, uh, slow water, faster currents. Uh, rapids or um, also depending on the size of the fly you're using and if it's a lake of course it's a big difference but let's talk first about um, dry fly leaders for boat um, uh, what do you say or most likely, we can start with the, when I'm fishing running water, uh, uh, rivers, creeks, stuff like that. Uh, I always use this 13 foot leader, and normally I use this one. This is a 3x, which is 0.20 millimeters. So in the tip. Um, 13 foot is a nice uh, to start with because it's like this uh, the longer leader you have the longer drift uh, without dragging you will have if you are a good fly caster of course um, but that's the thing and uh, in all running water I use this one 13 foot and then I add tippet material uh, depending how long I want it and which uh, fly I'm using. If I'm using a bigger fly or smaller fly I can add to this depending if it's a bigger fly I just add uh, one meter of tippet material in the same uh, dimension as this. Like if I'm using a big uh, Caddis imitation or um, some kind of like Chernobyl land foam flies, stimulators, uh, also uh, bigger mayflies. And so I can just go with the same dimension as this. Or yeah, I had a little technical issue there. But yeah, so I can use the same dimension. Uh, as this or go one dimension below like if this is 3x then I go down to 4x uh, and then if I want a longer leader after that if I'm uh, like uh, fishing a clear river with slow water I want a long drift and also I don't want to spook the fish especially if it's a sunny day maybe then I will maybe also go down to a uh, leader that's a little bit thinner like this is 4.5x it's around uh, 0.16 millimeters and then I also add one or two meters of tippet material and a lot of people they ask me what uh, what tippet material do you use for your leaders these ones are all always monofill or nylon um, or this is actually copolymer copolymer but it's like the same as um, like monofill. But in tippet material, I always use this. This is the same, but <laughs> different dimensions. This is um, the Loop Synchro fluorocarbon tippet material. And why? Uh, it has uh, other good, um, what to call it? But uh, it works like this, it's a little bit stiffer than normal nylon, so you will have 
an easier way to present the fly, which if you want so, depending how you're casting of course. But it's a little bit stiffer and of course it uh, has the same, uh, oh I forgot the words, yeah but it sinks a little bit. So if it's, it's a, if it's a slow water it sinks a little bit under the surface, it will, ne will never pull down your fly but it will maybe um, go through the surface film and just stay under and don't leave a leave a mark on the surface that could scare really spooky fish so that is why I use this these are kind of nice because they are 50 meters so you will always have a, a, a lot of material with you I actually think my battery will end soon so I will just do this really fast other things to think about tippet rings these are from Hanak micro rings they are kind of nice to use if you don't want to do the... Is it the blood knot or certain knot? I don't care because I I uh, learned this, um, this knot 25 years ago. So I forgot what the names are. But yeah. But you can use tippet rings. Then it will be easier and you won't uh, take so much of this um, tapered leaders. So if you, if you tie your micro ring in this end, in the tippet of this, uh, then you will don't like need to uh, break new uh, or tie on a new leader, if so. And also if I use, if I fish with bigger flies, I sometimes go down to 9 foot. If I'm fishing like um, bigger caddies, poopas or stuff like that. And then you can also, if you want it longer, you can use this. Also sometimes when I'm uh, lake fishing with uh, like bigger yeah, caddies or, um, or um, yeah, bigger mayflies. Also, if it's a little bit of wind and the surface is kind of interrupt, then it could be good to fish with 9 foot leaders and just tie on maybe 1 meter. Then you will have one leader that is about a little longer than, than 9 foot of course, around 12 foot. And yeah, if you don't like for carbon and if you're like, think it's bad to nature, those synchro, monofill or polymer, copolymer is um, also available in 50 meter spools, which is nice. So yeah, those are kind of kind of good also. I actually use this sometimes when I'm lake fishing um, with smaller mayflies or if it's if I have to, to wait long for a fish to come, if I see the round is got the fish is going like a round then I use this and always a little bit of fat this is kind of nice just to put on the leader especially if you're fishing slow water or lakes um, this could be really nice if you don't use this one if you use monofilament I don't really know if you see it but yeah this is one up high it's from Hans kind of nice just take a little bit and just uh, take it on the leader so hope you got a little bit of info there and uh, yeah if you have any questions or something else to share please leave a comment and uh, yeah give it a thumbs up or if you have like yeah any else questions about leaders and stuff like that just leave a comment so, thank you.